Hey guys, it's me Liv. Today I am bringing you a project that I'm doing inspired by the Lindy Gang's July colors as you saw from the photo it listed before. I'm going to be using Blingy Blonde, Hibiscus Rose, and Polka Purple um, for my Lindy Gang colors. And I was inspired using this particular schematic and layout from a recent video I saw over at Tiffany's channel. I will link her below. She is a fantastic mixed media artist. Um, she does a you know great um, tutorials and teaches a lot of cool little different techniques and I decided I wanted to go ahead and see if I can replicate some of them in my project here um, so you're gonna see that first off she started with some tissue paper that she stamped all over so I just plucked out some different mixed media stamps that I had in my collection and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp all over this tissue paper to put in the center I've already put gesso on this canvas board that I've had so um, I didn't decide to go ahead and show you guys that. I had pre-gessoed it. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the center. Again, trying to appreciate that love of white, which um, is slowly growing on me. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down and put a little of some matte gel to get the tissue paper down into the center. And then I'm going to surround it by some gesso on the side. I am using white gesso for it. Um, any excess that I have because it's tissue paper rip, rips off super easy. I decide I'm going to stick with the white gesso um, on this project to not get it to be too dark since I really do want it to be more on the bright side. Um, you can use black or clear depending on what fits your project better. Next, I'm going to dry it off a little bit um, with my heat tool so that I don't have to wait all day for this project to be done add um, some additional stamping here again i have a madri of different stamps um, that i'm just going to plug on in here as well in order to add just a little bit more depth i'm taking an echo park um, stencil that i have in my stash and i'm going to put some random um, modeling paste onto this project as well to give it a little bit more texture here and there there's no rhyme and reason whatever you feel like when it comes to mixed media and where you want to place it I'm gonna have to dry this off again in order to make sure that I can go ahead and work with this project so next up I had already prepared a piece of watercolor paper this is some artiste watercolor paper and I used those three colors that I mentioned earlier from the Lindy Gangs to get this paper ready to go so I'm going to cut out a bunch of circles and some flowers for my stash and I wanted to go and decorate them a little bit more similar to like what Tiffany did in her video. So again make sure you are using a waterproof ink. I'm using Stazon which works very well um, in this waterproof project because it will hold up. Um, so you do need some type of archival type of waterproof ink when you do this. Um, and on one of the circles, I had actually accidentally gotten some marks on it, but I like the way that came out, so I'm just going to go ahead and actually replicate that on all my other circles. And do a little bit of stamping on the flowers as well. Now that my stamping is all set, I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I would like this organized here um, on the canvas board and where I would like to place my flowers. I don't know if this is going to be my final, but I'm just trying to get some ideas of where exactly I want to lay them out. Now the canvas is completely dry, so I'm going to spray a little bit of the Lindy Gang's Pineapple Paradise um, spray on here. And again, I'm going to apologize if you hear my dogs barking. It is July 3rd, and all I can say is my neighbors have been setting off fireworks for weeks, and my poor doggies are not happy about it. But anyway, uh, back to my mixed media here. So I am just trying to add a little bit more of those colors in there and spread them around. I didn't want it to be too dark, so I decided I'm gonna come in with that paintbrush and spread the purple around just a little bit more so that it won't um, make the rest of the piece too dark. And of course, it always helps to add some splatter, so I'm just taking out some um, white ink that I have here and splattering it on. Sometimes I'm dropping it a little bit because I did feel that a little too dark and I'm gonna dry it off just a little bit so that I can go ahead and start putting on those circles. Now back to the layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these down. I'm using some arc glitter glue as well as some matte gel medium to 
hold down these circles as I figure out exactly where I want the placement to be. Um, I'm trying to spread out the colors a little bit so that they can show against whatever circle they are next to. So now that I've figured out exactly how I want anything, it's time to start gluing everything down. Um, again, as I mentioned before, I'm using a combination of my arc litter glue as well as my uh, matte medium a gel to make sure everything stays down and holds down well. Um, some of the flowers I decided to leave their stems out, sometimes I didn't. This really just depended on what I felt like at the moment. And then I'm going to go ahead and take out some Tim Holtz metal uh, sentiments that I have in my stash and going to go ahead and glue those down. I am using my heavy uh, gel now to make sure that they'll stay down a little bit better. And here is the finished project. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out Tiffany's uh, original video and thank you so much for watching.